Hello everybody, today we're going to find the limit of 3 minus square root of x plus 4 divided by x minus 5 as x approaches 5. Now if you plug in uh, 5 for x, you're going to realize that you're going to have a 0 in the denominator. So we cannot use a direct substitution. So what we can do is we can multiply, well, I mean, we can find the limit in many ways. One of them is multiply by the conjugate. The conjugate of 3 minus square root of x plus 4 is 3 plus square root of x plus 4. And whatever you multiply in the numerator, you have to multiply in the denominator. Okay. Now here in the numerator, we have the product of the sum and difference of two terms. Now, if you recall, that's a minus b times a plus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. So that's equal to the limit as x approaches a 5. So this is your a, this will be your b. So the first term squared, 3 squared minus this one squared, which is um, x plus 4. Remember, the square cancels the square root, and the radicand comes out divided by, that's x minus 5, times 3 plus square root of x plus 4. So this gives us the limit as x approaches 5. 3 squared is 9 minus, you can distribute the negative if you like, so negative x minus 4 divided by x minus 5 times 3 plus square root of x plus 5, uh, x plus 4. So 9 minus 4 gives us 5. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches 5. 9 minus 4 is 5 minus x divided by x minus 5 times 3 plus square root of x plus 4. So here you'll see that you have 5 minus x and x minus 5. They're divided that, uh, if you divide them together, that's uh, the same as uh, negative 1. Now, if this is from algebra. If you have a minus b divided by b minus a, that's equal to negative 1, if you recall from algebra. So this gives us negative 1, and that's the same as the limit as x approaches 5 of negative 1 over 3 plus square root of x plus 4. So now what we can do, we can um, uh, replace x for 5. Now we can use a direct substitution. You have negative 1 divided by 3 plus 5 plus 4. 5 plus 4 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. If you want to write it down first, that's fine. Negative 1 divided by 3 plus square root of 9, that's 3, which is negative 1 over 6. So that's the limit. The limit is negative 1 over 6. By the way, what you could have done also, you could have used a L'Hopital rule. Because if you plug in 5, 5 minus 5, you get a 0 in the denominator. And uh, if you plug in 5 also in the numerator, you get 5 plus 4, which is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. 3 minus 3, that's 0 over 0. You could have used a L'Hopital rule. Uh, just it might be a little overkill here. But uh, either way, you can find the limit. Uh, I hope you find this video helpful. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.